Car racing has become the most popular sport in America, and the public becomes fascinated with speed. Three years after walking out on Pierre Dupont and General Motors, Chrysler is now running his own car company and is searching for the next big thing. Hey guys. Walter Chrysler knows what America wants. Chrysler intends to build the first mass produced automobile that drives like a race car. I think that Chrysler thought in his mind that there was a demand there was nothing on the market to appeal to middle-class buyers who wanted something better than a Ford and wanted speed. We got to get this to 70 miles per hour. The problem is how to get that extra little bit. No, we'll need a bigger engine. That means a bigger car. No, I want the same size engine. I just want it to go faster. The idea that Walter Chrysler would walk away from GM to go at his own against the might of Ford and General Motors, it was both shocking and daring and also very Walter P. Chrysler. Hand me the three eights. Chrysler invests millions into his car betting everything on a new type of engine, one he hopes will give him the speed he desires. Last thing I want to do is burn out that clutch. Come on. Get that right. Up till now, powerful engines were big and heavy. I got the diameter on that correct, so it's 44. Chrysler's trying something totally different. He's designed a smaller engine. Okay, let's do this. That squeezes more power out of each cylinder. Full throttle. The first high compression motor. Made for one thing, speed. like the Model T Ford could only do 35. Even cars like the Buick might get up to 50 miles an hour. This car could do 70 miles an hour, and probably the Chryslers could actually do a little more than 70 miles per hour. And it blew the socks off most of the competition. Chrysler has gambled everything on his new car. But what he doesn't know is whether people will buy it. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. You know, to be a great entrepreneur, you have to be a bit of a gambler. You have to be a bit of a risk taker. You have to be a professional optimist. Chrysler 70. Mr. Chrysler, how much, Mr. Chrysler? You have to believe in yourself and you have to believe in the idea that you're going to change the world. The car soon known worldwide as the Chrysler 70 is hailed as the most technologically advanced car of its time. Even its name points to its groundbreaking speed. 70 miles an hour. 
Chrysler's first car did capture the spirit of the Roaring Twenties in that it was flamboyant, it was aggressive. People who owned it could say, look at me. When you were driving a Model T, you never said, look at me. Every great entrepreneur can tell you multiple stories about any number of people who called them crazy and told them that their product would never work. But the crazier the idea, the greater the upside.